Hello and welcome to Let's Play Rastan on the Sega Master System. Um, we play as a barbarian um, rescuing a princess from an evil dragon um, in the harsh land of Semia. Um, little introduction sequence will um, begin shortly. Uh, Tato Corporation 1988. Destiny. This is the tale of a barbarian who went against the tides of fate, who fought destiny with cold steel and won. And then the uh, the demo starts. Um, there are seven levels or rounds, each split into um, three little levels, um, sub levels. First one is outside. The second one is in a castle or a cave, and the third one is a boss. Um, the seventh level is a bit different, though. It has um, it has no outside level, just four inside levels and then a boss it's because uh, it's weird because it's the last level anyway um the demo sh is pretty retarded right so let's play the game you get three continues and uh, once they used up that's it but it was a cheat um giving you infinite continues you can f find it online somewhere um or you can read my guide on game FAQs it's on there as well right um, there's no time limit, but if you spend too long in a level, it goes dark. And when it gets completely dark, it's um, um, bats and bees come out. That's a mace. Can't remember how many points it gives you, but it's a bit longer than a sword, but just as powerful. Uh, you have to touch your weapons to, to the new weapons uh, in order to get it. Not, um, not your body. Uh, the flashing water means a waterfall. Um, if you pause it, yeah, I just picked up a suit of armor. That's my protector. Um, the weapon and the um, and the protector doesn't la but they don't last very long. Um, the protector will it halves the damage done by projectiles and from touching an enemy. There's also a mantle which which protects you, f which halves the damage done by touching an enemy. And there's also a shield which halves the damage done by projectiles. So an armor is um, it does the job of both of them. Um, to make the arm last longer you can get a necklace, to make the protector last longer you can get a rod and uh, if you want to double your points you can get a, a ring but all the items are random and the enemies never stop coming so it's just luck what you get. Um, blue gems are worth 1000 points, uh, pink ones 2000 and I think red ones are worth 3000 or they could be 4000 I can't remember. Alright, that's, uh, that's an axe. It's just as long reach as the sword, but it's much stronger. It kills every enemy first time. Um, with the mace and the sword, some enemies will need more hits than others, although everything dies first time from a, from, uh, um, from a down thrust. That's a fire sword that uh, is the best reach, kills everything first time as well. Although um, some enemies won't die from the, fire, uh, from the fireballs. That was a cloth I just picked up that will kill all the enemies on the screen, except a few. Uh, coincidentally, the same few enemies that don't die from um, fireballs. Um, yeah, so go in here and then we're on the second uh, level. This is the inside level, it's inside a castle. Uh, bizarrely, this also eventually goes dark, so you have to hurry up here as well. Um, there's a mace if you go left, but it's much longer. You don't need a mace because I have a uh, fire sword. Fire sword bizarrely gives you no points. You can bounce off walls like Ninja Gaiden, like that. Uh, that's a sword thing. They normally take three hits, but with a fire sword, just one. Yeah, that's a, a maximum. Oh, I'll just explain this first. This is the Kentus, the first boss. Just it needs three hits like this. The health is on the right there. Uh, your health will also go down slowly in a boss room because of poison gas. Yeah, uh, small. Blue medicine will give you 16% uh, of your health back, large one will give you 32% back. Uh, there's also a red one, the small red will, will make you lose 8% of your health, but give you 10,000 points. And the um, yeah, down thrust kills everything first time. Um, and a large po um, poison will take away 16% of your health, but gives you 20,000 points, which is really good for points if you want points. Yeah, the, the praying mantises take uh, two hits normally, but with the axe only one, and a down thrust only one. Can't remember if that's a harpy or something else. Um, oh, let's ignore it. Um, yeah, there's a.
fire sword up there to get that. You, oh, that's a poison, 10,000 points. To get that, just uh, try to jump on his branch. It's tricky. Oh, there we go. Good. And then it hit your sword with it when you go down. Yeah, sometimes you can spend ages trying to get that. Did it a second time there, which is quite good. Try not to fall in the water. It is really painful, and it doesn't hurt much the first time you do it, but trying to jump out will cause you to lose more health, as I just demonstrated there. It can be quite devastating, really. Hopefully I'll get a medicine or two. No, that's a ring that doubles my points. Right, to get the mace without getting hurt, do this. Two little jumps and a big one. And you won't get hurt. The boss of this level is the Slayer. He is uh, hes quite easy because we should have an axe for him. Oh, that's annoying. I'll have to go back up there. First time I've ever done that, can you believe? Normally I down thrust them. Oh, good, some medicine. Yeah, you always want the axe for the uh, for the Slayer. You sh it should just last long enough. Yeah, they're mace things. They have a mace, so they're a bit harder. That's a rod. Um, that will increase the amount of time my protector lasts if you have one, which I don't. There we go. Avoid the fireball. And there's a there's a crushing ceiling here. That's it. Good. Right, this is the Slayer. It's easier if you have the axe like that. Then you can just go mad on him like that. Always try to upthrust him. It's the best way of getting him. They hurt even more with the axe as well. Right, here's level 3. The boss is the Shuku Shamas or something. I can't really pronounce it, but it's really hard on the arcade version. Really, really hard. But on the... Uh, Master conversion is actually quite easy because you can get a, you can get some cheap hits in, but on the uh, arcade version you can't do that. That's supposed to be mud, by the way. Right. Yeah, all the water of the land is um, poisonous. Yeah, I only know that's a water ball from the arcade version. I didn't know why the water was flashing when I first played it. Yeah, that's a B. They do sometimes show up, but they mainly show up when it gets dark. Um, uh, uh, if you think they're annoying, uh, the bats are even worse, but they only show up when it's dark, apart from the last two levels, then, then they appear uh, normally. Yeah, praying mantis. Now, I try to get the rope here, that's it. Oh, two um, annoyances. That's it, because there's a fire sword here. There we go. Jump on that. Ooh, a red gem. It's all random, the objects you get. All random. Um, the enemies aren't random. They never stop appearing, but you get certain enemies in each level. But uh, the amount, the, the number that appear are random. Oh, I got hurt there. That's annoying. I normally do that without getting hurt. Obviously, don't touch the fire. Oh. There's a new enemy here called a wizard. If you touch his scroll, it won't hurt you, but it will take away your protector and your weapon. Oh, he's not here. Yeah, some, usually there's a wizard here, but for some reason he isn't here because it's random. But yeah, normally the first wizard is there. There'll probably be one up here. That's it. Always good to have a fire sword if you... Or you know, to use it if you have one. Oh, no wizard here either. It's amazing. Right, here's the... Uh, makes it a bit easier. Right, here's the uh, third boss, the Shuku Shamus. Just get him while he's flashing, and then he can't move. Oh, that's annoying. You just get some cheap hits in like that. You can't do that on the arcade version. I don't know if it's a glitch or what, but uh, it works. It'd be really difficult if you couldn't do this. But luckily you can. Right, that's the end of that. Round clear. Let's go to the next round. Right, it's the fourth one. This is where the game gets tricky, in my opinion. It's 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 sort of easy beforehand. Oh, I just leave, just ignore the enemies. Right, to get this mace, do this. Yes, just got it. 
the enemies disappear as well if you go off the screen. If you didn't get the maze the first time, if you leave the screen and come back again, the platform might reappear, but it's not really worth it because you'll waste time and the uh, and the uh, the light will go it'll go dark. It's not really worth it. Only only get the uh, the the maze if you can get it first time. Um, Um, yeah, but the platform will appear if you insist on getting it, if you leave the screen and come back, but it's really not worth it. That was a bit weird, that enemy was sort of um, going down, drowning. Yeah, these are really annoying, these uh, things. Just, just run away, if you can. You should get rid of it. There we go. Right, hidden platform here, big jump, there's hidden platform. Um, big jump, then little jump, that's it. And then big jump to get out. That's it. And some bees will appear to punish you for getting the uh, fire sword. It's a shield. It's also another really good item that is really rare. It's uh, the golden sheep. It will get all your health back. But it's really rare. It's the only health item worth having, really. Almost gone. Uh, this it's the first. Um, the first bit of darkness. The bats won't come until it goes completely dark. Alright, so you have to uh, use your use your wall jump here. I'll try not to lose any more health. That's it. Good. Yeah, there'll definitely be a wizard here. Well, probably. So, yeah, there was one, but it disappeared. Oh, there's a bat. That's really annoying because they shouldn't appear yet. Yeah, as you can see, the bats are extremely irritating. That's what you get if you spend too long. Ignore the bee. Right, the boss here is the uh, is uh, Arius, and he's uh, he is easy <laughs> with the axe. But he's, if you do this, I get him once, and then he, he sort of retreats to the back screen. You can just get him like this, and it's ridiculous. But this is how you're supposed to get him. I'll just get all his health away because he's easy like this. And then he does this. Yeah, he sort of walks around. It, uh, I, I didn't let him shoot. He normally uh, shoots if you let him if you let him loose. But the best way of getting him is with that sort of glitched way. But uh, I tried to show you what he does, but uh, but he didn't. He refused to do it, so I I killed him. Uh, I won't get that poison. Hate this uh, hate this level. Yeah, the yellow stuff I think is supposed to be lava. I'm not, I'm, I'm not entirely sure. Sort of looks like custard. Um. Right, attack to get that. There we go. Always remember to do that because the axe is very good. we go. I absolutely can't stand those bees. Oh, there's a thing following me. There we go. Oh, thank you. Alright, go over here, and then over here, and there's another axe, and then down. Good. Loads of health this level. This is the first tricky, really tricky inside level. Um, yeah, there's lots of axe things, mace things, and what have you. Oh, I'll ignore that. Yeah, there's a wizard. He'll take away your. Um, well, if you touch his scroll, which luckily I didn't do, he'll take away your protector and your weapon. That's it. Uh, I will get the mace because my axe will run out eventually. And just go down. Ignore the bee. 
It's best just to run through this as quickly as you can because it's very difficult to avoid all the things. Don't touch his scroll. If you can go forward while attacking, it kills everything first time as well, I've noticed. Right, this is the uh, Federak. He's really hard. Best way of getting him is like that. So just try to. Yeah. Just try to aim it just so you land over him like that. No, that didn't work. There we go. It's difficult to get him without getting hurt yourself. It's a trouble. There we go. In the end, you just have to go for it, really. One more. Nope, missed it. There we go. It's, it's very tricky, that boss. Sometimes I can do it a bit easier than that, but I couldn't seem to hurt him without hurting myself. But it is possible. Normally, if you manage to hurt him without hurting yourself, he makes a squeaking noise. But there, uh, he didn't do it then. He wasn't in a squeaking mood. Right, let's ignore that. Oh, there's a bat. Yeah, this is the first appearance of the bats. This is uh, the second from last level, so... Well, not the first appearance, but the first appearance where they appear regularly. The first time they appear regularly. Whoops, touch that lava. Right, so I still haven't seen a golden sheep, which is a bit annoying, because I, really I could really have done with one in the last level. Oh, a shield, good. Right, don't jump down there because you'll go straight into the uh, into the fire there. Always drop down. I uh, had to get that poison there. Uh, this bit can be annoying. Let's try to go just on the edge like that. There we go. Now this one is annoying. Get as far as uh, as far as on the edge as possible. And then do that. There we go. Fire sword in there. Just leave. <laughs> so I could really do it with a uh, with golden sheep right now, but uh, they're extremely rare. Yeah, leave. Right, this level is pretty tricky. Uh, the boss of this one is called the Reed Dragon, and he's uh, he's easy if you have the fire sword. Lucky there's another fire sword in this level. Oh, a golden sheep. Excellent. Thank you. Good. Yeah, that was a golden sheep. It looks more green to me, but it's uh, it's apparently a golden sheep. It's really helpful that actually. But I could just have easy. Have not picked that up, and I'd be finding this level really hard. Right, do not touch a wizard because you'll lose your fire sword. That was close. I got the golden sheep, so I have loads of health. Just, just hurry to the end. It's the easiest way. There we go. No, come on. Right, you have to get its head. Nothing else will hurt you. But if you have the normal sword, only a slight little bit of health will come off with the uh, fire sword, a huge chunk comes off, so it's really, really nice. I probably would have died without that golden sheep, because <laughs> I'm only down to my last quarter of health, so I'm glad I picked that up. I was quite kind of the game to give me that. Uh, so this is the last uh, level. It sort of loops, but I prefer to go this way to the right first, but if you keep going in the same direction, it'll uh, the game will loop. Um, there are no weapons in this in this uh, level. Oh. So he's um, a bat. Uh, he's not normally there, that bat. Right, just get out of it. There we are. And health is cumulative as well. I find it best to go left here. 
that way they won't go over the uh, <laughs> uh, the hole or the gap in the wall there. Right. Oh, that was close. Exit should just be up here. Yep. For this one, um, wait for the platform. That's it. Go down here. Oh, not doing too badly for health actually. Oh, you little little critter! Don't go up there. That just leads back up to the top again. The way we have to go is to the right. Alright, try to... That doesn't matter, that doesn't matter. Because you can just do that, that always works. Looks a bit weird, but it, it's how it's supposed to be done. And here's the boss. Yeah, there's only three of them up. I think I said four, but there's only three. He's, he, he's, like, he's like the Federak, but harder. And he jumps. So we'll, we'll have to hope. Yeah, good, I've managed to get him without getting hurt there. Missed him there. Good. Obviously the more health you start the boss with, the better. So this is how I wanted to get the Federak, but he wouldn't let me get him like that. This one's been... Uh, I think this one squeaks as well sometimes, but... He doesn't seem to be in a squeaking mood like the other one. Oh, 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 oh no, there was a squeak. He squeaks when he when he runs there. Uh, oh, he's nearly dead. Doing quite well. Oh, whoops. Spoke too soon. Good, just two more hits, I think. One more hit. That was close. There we go. Just did it. Try to read this out. After I had safely escorted the princess to the country of Shamoy, the king was very pleased and gave me many treasures. Not only that, but he wanted me to marry her and someday succeed King's throne. I love the princess. And I think she also loved me too. However, she's not the person to be the wife of a thief like me. I sneaked away quietly from the country of Shamoy. Again, aimless journey had started. After all, it seems I'm a born wanderer. Doesn't make much uh, sense, that. I think the punctuation's wrong. The, the happening this time was an ordeal for me. When I had overcome the ordeal, I got rid of the th rid of thief's mind. I couldn't read all that, sorry. Uh, 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 the font they use is... Uh, However, I will always overcome it and shall promise that I will tell you about the new adventure uh, story. Yeah, uh, the font is difficult to read and it's not up for long enough and the punctuation is a bit wrong and the, uh, the syntax is a bit weird. Now, this ends one of the stories of the Rastan. You can always pause the video and read it yourself. Here's the, uh, here are the credits. Which I won't read out, apart from the fact that someone's named Emperor. Yes, it's it's um, a lot of this game is based on luck. Sometimes you know you can get the you can get some good stuff, and other times you won't. I wouldn't have done the sixth level if it weren't for that um, golden sheep I picked up. But I picked it up, and so I was able to do it. It gave all my health back, but I could just have easily have, have not gotten that, and I would have died. Well, I would have tried my hardest not to die, but, but uh, I probably would have died. But yeah, you know, you only get three continues. Um, you can get infinite continues if you do the cheat. Ooh, score 386,890. Produced by Tato. 
thank you for watching and um, more videos to come soon I hope is that the end see if I f can fast forward the emulator yeah that's the end it, I can't do anything it won't let me I'd have to reset the game. Anyway, so thanks for watching and I'll see you in another another video soon. Bye bye.